Soho. Here it is. When Donald Trump announced the Trump Soho in 2006, he called it brilliant, awe-inspiring, and a masterpiece. Welcome to Trump Soho. But then things got messy. And in 2012, Trump's two eldest children, Donald Jr. and Ivanka, faced possible criminal indictment over their marketing of the building. This is the story of how that case disappeared. I really would probably rather let the product speak for itself and let you see that what we've been saying for all these years actually is true. Donald Jr. and Ivanka formed a limited liability company called Donka Soho Member. And they both signed the licensing deal on Trump Soho alongside their father, who is now our president. Trump Soho is a 46 The building's condos went on the market in September 2007, right before the global economy began to implode. Our stocks all around the world are tanking. The stock market is now down 21%. Many Americans have felt anxiety about their finances and their future. In public, the Trumps and their brokers were bullish. Donald Trump boasted there was a wait list of 3,200 for just 400 units. First, the building was 31% sold, then 53%. In June 2008, Ivanka told journalists the building was 60% sold. But none of this was true. In fact, according to a sworn affidavit by a Trump partner in March of 2010, the building was only 15.8% sold. In August 2010, the patience of some condo buyers ran out. More than a dozen of them sued the Trumps and their business partners for deceptive marketing. Meanwhile, prosecutors in the office of Manhattan District Attorney Cy Vance began to investigate. Welcome to the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. I'm Cy Vance. They were looking at possible fraud and larceny charges. By overstating the number of units sold, they believed the Trumps were falsely inflating the value of the apartments. According to sources familiar with the case, investigators discovered emails between the two younger Trumps discussing how to coordinate what false information to give potential condo buyers about how many condos had been sold. In one email, Donald Jr. assured a concerned broker that no one would ever find out about the false statements. Prosecutors believed those emails demonstrated Ivanka and Donald Jr. intentionally deceived the buyers. The Trump defense team argued that it was just puffery. With the evidence he had, Vance, the DA, needed to decide whether he would charge Donald Jr. and Ivanka Trump with crimes. But then, enter Mark Kasowitz. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mark Kasowitz, uh, President Trump's personal lawyer. He defended Trump University. He threatened to sue the New York Times when it published a story about Trump groping women. He also represented Bill O'Reilly when Fox News ousted him over accusations of sexual harassment. Yeah, that Mark Kasowitz. In January of 2012, Kasowitz made a $25,000 contribution to Vance's re-election campaign. It was his first donation to Vance, and he instantly became one of Vance's top donors. A few months later, in early May 2012, Kasowitz requested a meeting with Vance. Following his own policy, Vance returned Kasowitz's campaign contribution. So on May 16th, Kasowitz meets with Vance. Then, in August 2012, the case against Donald Jr. and Ivanka was closed. Vance had overruled his prosecutors. Vance says he made the call on the merits and that Kasowitz's donation did not affect his decision. For his part, Kasowitz denies that his contribution was meant to influence Vance. One month after the case was dropped, though, Kasowitz contacted Vance's campaign about hosting a fundraiser for the DA's re-election. Over the next year, Kasowitz personally gave Vance $31,993 and held two fundraisers for him. Because the Trump case had been closed nearly six months earlier, Vance's campaign accepted these contributions. Now, Vance says he will return Kasowitz's second donation. According to people who heard him, Kasowitz later boasted to colleagues about his role in getting the Trump case dropped, though Kasowitz denies this. To date, only 128 of the 391 units in the Trump Soho have been sold. That's about 33%, if you're counting. 